Cooper Marchi here. Yesterday was the 148th running of the Kentucky Derby in Louisville, Kentucky. The most exciting two minutes in sports. I know some of you probably don't give a hoot about the Derby, but this is more of a story of never giving up and what you can accomplish if you don't. I had a prime seat for the race and watched with my mom. She loves it. Someday, maybe, we can get all dressed up and attend, but for now, we can only watch from home. The winner was a long shot. Rich Strike was his name. Here's the story behind the win. Nearly six years ago, Eric Reed almost called it quits from horse racing business. A fire engulfed one of his barns at his Lexington, Kentucky equine center in the middle of December killing 23 thoroughbred horses and causing hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. When we drove up that night, I told my wife, I said, we've probably lost everything, Reed recounted this week. The next morning, when we saw the devastation, I just thought of all the years and all the stuff we had done to get this beautiful farm and to have this happen, that something might be telling me it's time, it's the end of the line. That was 2016, but Reed didn't give up. And with his friends and sometimes strangers who showed up to help, he continued training. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just decided I wasn't going to let it take me out. It paid off. Reed is now a Kentucky Derby winner. Rich Strike, the horse he trains, entered as the biggest long shot in the race, 80 to one odds and surged forward in the home stretch to cross the finish line first with a two minute, two second time. The victory was all the more stunning because Rich Strike wasn't even in the field until Friday when Derby officials announced another horse pulled out. Reed told reporters he brought his team down a few days before the race on the possibility that the horse might get the chance to run to begin preparing against all odds. Nobody thought we would get in, he said. When the horse came in first place, Reed almost passed out. Rich Strike is his first winning horse in the Derby. Everybody would love to win the Derby. I always would, but I never thought I wouldn't be here ever, Reed said. Venezuelan, Venezuelan jockey Sonny Leon is the first Kentucky, in his first Kentucky Derby rode Rich Strike to the surprise victory. I must say the jockey was amazing, weaving in and out of traffic and finding the perfect path for Rich Strike to run to first place. Rich Strike is owned by REDTR Racing LLC, according to the Derby's website. The last leg of the coveted, the next leg of the coveted Triple Crown, the Preakness Stakes, will run at Pimlico Racecourse in Baltimore, Maryland on May 21st. I'll be watching and I can't wait. Against all odds, indeed. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.